hey guys welcome to another video in this video we're going to install personage now first thing to do is uh, to extract the downloaded package from term forest uh, here you can see that we have several folders uh, one thing that I recommend is uh, reading the documentation first it's very important you can learn many things from the documentation Going back to installation, you have to extract personage that zip. Now when you get the personage folder, you have to upload it to your website to uh, WP content teams and that would be all. Now you have to go to your WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance, Teams. Here you can see that we have Personage. You have to click on Activate button. And you can see Personage Theme Settings right here. Now, I'm going to import the demo content. To do that, I have to go to other settings, dummy data. Here we can see that I can choose different demo contents. For example, I'm going to choose a standard, set the slider on import, and press save. It will take a while. Okay, it's done. Uh, let's see the website. You can see that uh, it's on blog. I'm going back. I have to go to settings. Ready? Here you have to set the front page displays and set the front page on main page and post page on black and press save changes. Okay now next step is going to appearance menus. Uh, here you can see that we have a section called home section. Just open it. Uh, you can see different sections here. You just have to add them to your menu. Uh, for example, let's assume that this one is my menu. I'm going to add all these sections to my current menu. I'm going to check primary navigation and mobile navigation and press save menu. Now let's check the website again. There you can see that the demo content is imported to my website. Uh, going back to my dashboard, if you go to Appearance Theme Settings, you can see that uh, we have several settings here. Uh, for example, the first one is uh, for setting the background and setting a texture on it, uh, adding a logo, which can be text or a PNG image, uh, uploading a fab icon. Uh, setting the print settings, setting animation settings, and the most important one for us is intersection. If you go to intersection, you can see that uh, we can uh, add or information which will be shown right here. For example, I'm going to add uh, 
some random data here. Now, there's something about this section you can uh, actually uh, use. Uh, you can actually set a height for this section. Remember uh, to just add the number. You don't have to add pixel or px in the end. Uh, you can upload images here or your signature image and add different kind of data. I'm going to press save and check my website again. We can see that the name is actually here, but because I didn't uh, add an image, I can see it. Uh, you can uh, change the contact information settings from this tab. You can change the color from appearance, changing the phones from phones, and set everything else from temp settings. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.